Hello, 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 mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel, especially to my students and their parents. Good morning, everyone. You are listening to me directly from Las Piñas City, Philippines. Okay, um, if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> One, subscribe. Two, like, share, ring the bell buttons. Three, like. Leave a comment, subscribe, four, subscribe, all right, our lesson for today is solving word problems involving number problems, so this is week seven, 9 and 10, no? This is already an application of all that that we had taken up for the second quarter. Solving word problems. There is no single rule to show how to convert word problems into mathematical statements. Most word problems are set up and solved in stages. So do not expect quick one-step solutions. Here are some general guidelines to solve word problems. Okay, number one, read and read the problems carefully. So, kailangan basahin ang basahin. Write an informal equation or model that represent the given problem through a picture if, when appropriate. So, kung kailangan lagyan ng picture, lagyan ng picture. 3. Level the known and the unknown quantities. That's why meron tayong X and Y. So, hanapin si X para sa unknown quantities. Rewrite the informal model as a formal algebraic expression, uh, equation. No? So, kailangan natin yan. And 5. Solve the equations and check the result. So, lagi natin ito-check yung ating sub Note, step 2 of these guidelines is the key to solving word problems. Unfortunately, it is this step that is most frequently skipped. The tendency is to try to move too quickly to the formal algebraic equation, that is step 4. To build algebraic equation, it is important that you recognize the language of algebraic operations. Okay, so let's start from the number problem. Example, one number is one-third of another number. The difference of the two numbers is 28. So, find the two numbers. So, kailangan you have to read, uh, reread, and reread this. So, guys, ang language na mathematics is ay English. So, unfortunately, we need to understand really English sentence. So, let x is the larger number. So, remember, we are talking about two numbers here. So, one number is one-third of another. No? That means the, the larger number is uh, smaller. No? Uh, the larger number is uh, ano yun? one-third of another number. So, x, let's x, let x as a larger number. And one third is x is a smaller number. So our equation must be x minus x over 3 equals 28. Because the difference of the two numbers is 28, no? So pag minus mo silang dalawa, 28. So that will be our equation. Okay? So our solution from that equation. Uh, x 
minus x over 3 equals 28. Okay, so yan, no? i-ano natin yan sila. Then, treat x, and then, okay, so the LCD. Now, multiply by the LCD, so 3x, and then, uh, cancel ito pagdating dito. Kaya, x na lang natira. Then, 28 times 3. No? That's the LCD. So, we have uh, 3 minus 1 is 2x. 2x. And then, 24 times 3 is 84. Uh, 28 times 3 is 84. Uh, divide both side by 2. So, therefore, x is equals to 42. And 42 here is the larger number. And then, 42 divided by 3, now which is x, diba, meron tayong x over 3. Okay, substitute natin yung 42. 42 divided by 3 is 14. So, 14 is the smaller number. Okay? Now, paano natin malaman na tama yung sagot natin? So, let us check from the original equation. So, ito yung original equation. 42 minus 42 divided by 3 equals 28. So, 42 minus 14 is 28. So, 28 is 28. Our answer is check. Okay. Okay. Let us continue. The sum of the three consecutive even integers is 36. So, what is the largest integer? That means we are looking here for three even integers, no? So, uh, napag tinotal natin, 36. Okay, let x minus 2 equals the smallest even integer. x equals uh, the, the next even integer. And x plus 2 is the largest even integer. So, our equation would be x minus 2 plus x plus x plus 2 equals 36. Okay, so this is will this will be our solution. So from the equation, no, x minus 2 plus x plus x plus 2 equals 36. So we combine the three x's, so we have 3x minus 2, we just copy and plus 2 plus 36. But remember guys, ito that's already zero. No? Okay. So, then, we multiply by one-third. So, here, cancel na yan. And then, 36 divided by 3, the answer is 12. So, that's why x, ano po yung x? It's the second, no? Even integers. And the x minus 2 is the next, which is 12 minus 2 is 10, No? So, this is, uh, ano, no? Mamaya makita natin. And then, uh, 12 plus 2 is 14. So, 14 here is the largest. So, among the three, uh, 14 is the largest number or even number. So, pag tinotal natin yan, okay, so how do you know that your answer is correct? Isang tingin mo lang dyan, pag in mo, 2 plus 0 plus 4 is 6. Then, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3, 36. No, isang paraan yan, paano i-check? Here, uh, if your x is 12, no? okay, so substitute natin, 12 minus 2 plus x, i plus 12, plus 12 plus 2. So, here, that would be 10 plus 12 plus 14. The answer is 36. So, your answer is correct. Oh, that means your answer is next. So, if you have questions, kapag uh, malabo pa rin, uh, just uh, write your questions for clari and clarification. So, mag-comment lang po kayo sa baba. Just let me talk on you kung naintindihan nyo yung problem natin. And, uh, remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And before I go, shout out sa Team Loyal, uh, sa aking mga kabraso, at sa Team International. Shout out din po sa aking mga katim sa iba.
no? Ang aking mga members. Please support uh, my members. Uh, Pinay Australia. No? Si Pinay Australia TV. Teacher Fe Channel. Um, Arlita Garden. Elma Abayan. Mark PJ. Uh, Mark Anthony PJ. And my super chatters. Melo Touch. Uh, Chubby Peggy and El Sayote. Kayo din, no? You too can help this channel grow. Uh, please support the advocacy for uh, for the uh, LSENS or less, um, learners with special needs of Las Piñas East National High School, Equitable Village Annex, Las Piñas City, Philippines. And before I go, one subscribe two like share subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification three like leave a comment your comment is very important so that I know what you learned from this lesson and then of course subscribe for subscribe Alright, thanks for watching. This is Teacher Marife. Bye-bye.